Hello everyone and welcome to another haul video. This video is kind of a combination of the last two trips that I made to Goodwill and one that was part of the second half of a, a house clean out. You might have seen previously either on a haul video or a drop sale that I had some linens, some towels and um, kitchen sets. That was the first half of this uh, haul, or well, not the Goodwill part, but the other part. So I will show you the first couple things and which are from Goodwill. Now this first one I thought was so awesome. It is a junk journal. Well, I would consider it a junk journal. Some people might consider it a scrapbook or a photo book or something. Well, hello, who is it? <laughs> So this is so cool. It has like a red, I don't know what you would call it, like wooden almost. And this really cool wooden thing on the side and these shells. And then the paper on the inside is so neat. It's almost like this, um, well, it has these covers, but it's, I don't know how you would explain it. It is this really awesome paper and it does have these things for photos. And it does not say who made it or where it's made made at or made from, but I thought this was super cool. So I haven't quite thought of what I'm gonna, I'm going to keep it and I'm gonna make a junk journal out of it. I'm just not quite sure what I'm gonna theme it yet. So, <coughs> excuse me, that was that one. And, um, these other three, four things I found, and I did not know what they are at all, and I still have to investigate, but I thought they were the coolest little things. There's two of these, which look like little irons. Aren't they neat? They say they're made in Holland. So they look like little, um, basically like little irons. I don't know. And then these two little things are like, Oh, they almost remind you like little ashtrays. I don't know. I don't know if that's what they use them for, but so I still need to do a little more investigating on these, but they are from Holland as well. So these all were together. So I don't know. They're really cool. And I thought, hey, for, well, they only like two bucks. So for two bucks a piece, we could figure out something to do with them, right? And I thought they were really cool. So that was my first trip. And then my trip um, in the land of <laughs> YouTube, um, very weird, right? So was it? Yes. Okay. So today I'm filming this. This is Wednesday. So this was either Tuesday or Monday. I think it was Monday. I went and picked these three things up. And at the time that I went, so... I'm not sure if you guys know, but the thrifting twins that are here on YouTube, they live or and shop in the general area that I live and shop in. So I've seen them a few times at Goodwill and such. And, I, you know, I don't bother them because I most of the time they're filming. But I thought it was kind of funny that when I went and I picked these up and just yesterday, which is Tuesday in here where I'm filming I'm on Wednesday so yesterday which is Tuesday I watched a video that they just put out about going to Goodwill and they must have gone to Goodwill literally within hours after I did because three of the things that I picked up were at the time at the same time as two other items that I wanted to pick up, but I didn't have enough money. So I am super glad that they picked it up because I was thinking while I was shopping, I said, oh, I wonder if the thrifting twins are going to come soon. Maybe they could pick those up. And it's funny to watch the video on Tuesday and see that, in fact, they did. So if you go back and watch their last Goodwill video, you'll see that they pick up these two beautiful blue, one is a d two divided dish and a pitcher. So I had seen those and I unfortunately didn't have enough money at the time to pick those up, but I picked up some pretty nice stuff too. So the first thing I picked up was this Japan, made in Japan, beautiful dish. Now, 
if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I'm most likely going to keep this because of what's on it. It has strawberries and butterflies. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. So, it says um, Ar Arndalt, Japan. There, it's very faded. And it's just this beautiful scalloped plate. It has the strawberries and the blue <laughs> stra and the blueberries butterflies so i love that i got that and then these two were the the best now there was a bunch of wonderful things there and i just i was like i only have a certain amount well actually it's kind of funny because if you check out my last haul video not the crafting haul video but the one before that it's called twenty dollars in 20 minutes well it just happened to be that at this time I only had ten dollars to spend at Goodwill, but I had gained, I had racked up my points, you know, your Goodwill points, so I had money to take off too, so which was awesome. Well, I'm glad because I found these three items, uh, including the discount, it was awesome. Because look at this beauty, isn't it beautiful? It is a Fenton Bell, and it's kind of hard but the Fenton if you can see it I don't know it's right up in there right way at the top and it says Fenton and it's this beautiful pink ombre colored um bell with the beautiful top on you know the beautiful display design whatever on top so isn't that gorgeous I got that and then this beautiful lady she has her beautiful flowers and her spaghetti ruffles. And she's also uh, our adult Japan. So, beautiful lady. You know, isn't that gorgeous? So I got those three items and I thought it was so funny because it must have been, been within hours after I was at the Goodwill, the twins were at the Goodwill picking up some awesome stuff too. So, our 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 gen or yeah, our Goodwill can have some pretty good stuff sometimes. I get stuff for live sales and crafting. They do get some stuff for live sales and eBay. I'm uh, struggling to get my eBay stuff back up. So. They sometimes, I think, can spend a little more money than I can or, or willing to, I guess, really. So, so that was the Goodwill stuff. Now we'll pause and we'll move into the stuff from the house cleanout. So, they had such a variety of these things. We have one of the oval-shaped um, embroidery hoops, and this was from... W.T. Grant Company, 39 cents. Oh my goodness. 39 cents. Awesome. But they had a, quite a variety of stuff. This is um, a sample. This sample is yours for free. Okay. To, okay, so this is a mixer, $9.95. All right, I'm not sure I'd want to use this one now, but um, it is a small little mixer. So I probably, but looks like it's battery powered or it might have a plug, but the plug's not in here. <laughs> so I'm not sure what you would mix with this little thing. It's the handy mixer. So even though we could try it or have it for display purposes or something, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Okay. And then there's a variety of things here. I had some embroidery floss just kind of hanging out at the bottom of the bag. <laughs> One of these felt type um, calendars from 1977. So now these do have that vintage musty smell a little on some of the things. Um, then we have a, oh, this one I thought was kind of interesting. This says my family tree chart and it's not filled in. So I'll probably have one of these for a, a, um, a sale. You can chart your family tree. <laughs> it looks like it, 
It has never been used because if you see right down the middle, it has the fold. So it's like antiqued or vintaged up for you already. Then we have this little piece of ephemera. Open this insert for handy order blanks <laughs> for Sears and Roebuck. Okay, so not sure you'll get anything from there now, but... <laughs> Then let's see what this is. Enclosed is your National Wildlife Federation Songbird Identification Wheel. Okay. So it's sort of been opened and then not opened. It's very strange. So. Okay. And then you have this wonderful wheel. National Wildlife Federation Songbird Identification Wheel. So you can just turn it and it tells you what kind of bird it is. What do we have here? We have a loggerhead shriek okay <laughs> and then it gives you different ones on the back and then a whole bunch of other ones here oh, like a lot um let's see okay the loggerhead shriek is a nine inch bird is a predator using its sharply hooked beak to kill insects frogs lizards and other birds oh, oh dear well i didn't pick a very good one did i <laughs> Also known as the butcher bird. Oh, goodness. Well, that wasn't a great one to start with. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see. It's so pretty, but it'll kill you in your sleep. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Let's see. Let's see if the black cap chickadee is any better. Okay, let's see. Have, even having the bifocals is not helping me. Let's see, what do we have? The black cap chickadee. Where are you, chickadee? There it goes, okay. So this five inch bird is a year round resident of Southern Canada and the central states. Chickadees are beneficial for the insects and insects eggs as well as seeds. Okay. All right, well, that sounds a little better than the butcher bird. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that will probably show up at a live sale. Then we have In Praise of Cats. Oh my, are we praising the kitties today? Then we have The World of Birds. And let's see what we have here. Doctors of the Old West. So whoever had this had quite the selection of um, interesting books. And then we have The Treasury of Cats, 145 color and black and white photographs. Now the cover on this one is kind of, looks, feels like it got wet, but here's some kitty cats on the inside. There's some black and white kitty cats, and it said there's color ones, so I don't know. Maybe they're in the front of the book. Oh, wait, I think I saw a colored one. Oh, look at these beautiful Siamese kitties. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, this particular book does have that musty smell to it. Then we have kittens. Of course, we had to have the kittens if we had the cats, right? Oh, look at this cute little baby right on the cover. So. This does have that little musty smell. So, oh, and here's the patchwork. Well, I guess it's supposed to be bejeweled. <laughs> that calendar, you're supposed to be able to bejewel it. Oh, my. So, we have, um, doesn't say, but. So, that was the 1977 bejeweled <laughs> calendar. So, I didn't find the jewels, so I guess we have to have a plain old calendar. Then we have a couple of photos, some vintage photo albums. So we have this, and it's the old fashioned plastic ones, you know what I mean? With the lines, and then you <laughs> Isn't that pretty neat? And then we have another one, still wrapped in its plastic. So this is a magnetic photo album, clear magnetic sheets from New Jersey, made in Korea, and this has a nautical 
chip one, but it's still right in the packaging, so I'm not gonna take those out. So that was a pretty good, and I'm not done yet. That was not even the, not even half of those. Oh my goodness. Moving all the books back over on this side so that I can show you the other items. Here is, we have the Lace Flare, a contour scarf for evening and worship. So, nice little black scarf and hat combo there, right? Then this is the Animals of the World, a portfolio of 18 magnificent color prints. So we have the lion, let's see what else we have. Oh, the lemur. Uh, we'll just pick a pick one. I'm trying to get something else. Oh, the snow leopard. So, and they are. Um, of course, the paper is kind of yellowing, which is perfect for if it's a crafter or a junk journaler. You know that nice pictures. Oh, there's an orangutan. <laughs> so, oh well, it tells you right here if I was paying attention. Lion, cheetah, African elephant, zebra, gorilla, koala, African black rhinoceros, snow leopard, jaguar, cougar, mongoose, walrus, lemur, red fox, ax uh, askin, <laughs> Alaskan, brown bear, a barberry, ape, an orangutan, and a spider monkey. So I wasn't going through all of them, but they should be there. Okay. <laughs> Then we have some statues. This has got to be the cutest little thing. It's this little mouse made in Taiwan playing golf. <laughs> so look at that. Isn't that cute? All right. So then we have some interesting things. This is a Hug Me inflatable bear um, made in Taiwan. So we have an inflatable bear. Okay, then we have an inflatable penguin ring tossed game, also for made in Taiwan. Challenging for fun indoors, outdoors, and in the water. So that's pretty interesting. Then we have, let's see, we have another, the bears there, the hug me bears. And some linen. So let's see, we have a large wedge cover so i don't know if that's for a chair or what that is but it hasn't been opened so i wasn't going to open it and then we have another large wedge cover for a chair <laughs> all right let's see we have these very interesting like vinyl or plastic so table runner so it's very like, I don't know, how, you know, vinyl table cover, I think, or table runner. <laughs> Easy cleaning, I guess. It does have that bit of that musty smell to it, but that's okay. Well, here, it, which I thought was kind of strange. This is a PVC table mat. Still made in Taiwan. So uh, size 17... I think 17 by 72. Haven't opened it, so I don't know if it's similar that it goes with this. You know, if it's similar to this, I really don't know, and I didn't want to open it, but if you're brave, <laughs> it's not that bad. I feel really, I'm just making. <laughs> oh, yes, that's vinyl because this one I'm pretty sure is vinyl because these are the placemats. So, no iron, guaranteed, machine washable, easy care because it's vinyl. <laughs> so, made in the USA, machine wash and dry at low temperatures for stubborn stains, use bleach, do not iron. So, this is the table runner and then this is the, the place mats, place settings. And then I guess they decided maybe that tablecloth would go with it too. I don't really know. <laughs> oh, and here's one of the, this is, I don't know if it's the same package, but here's the tablecloth, or tablecloth, table placemat. Okay, then they have another bit of crafting item here, and 
I'm not sure how you get into it or if it was opened yet or not, but it looks like one of those things, embroidery type things. So, uh, I don't know. I really don't know because it's still kind of sealed in there and I don't want to take it out, but it has beautiful butterflies on it. Then we have a basket of light scented candle assortment. So, it is still packaged and it has a little basket. It has one, two, three, four, five, six candles and a candle holder and these cute little vintage flowers all in a cute little package. You know, has that candle-y smell. <laughs> it's strong, you know, because there's six candles in there. So let's see if it tells us where this was made. Uh, let's see, a unique and colorful centerpiece, a cheery accent on the mantle, wall niche or vanity. Reusable mat has many uses and its scent refills seem to last forever. The perfect gift for those who cherish a gift both different and delightful. Oh, there we go, here we go. It's the Lawrence Company, Northboro, Massachusetts. Okay. Doesn't say what year, but cute little vintage um, set of candles. Then we have one of these um, lady pin cushions. She's in sort of a um, flowered item here. Uh, 1976, made in Hong Kong. Now they do make, or they used to make one similar to this, and they had like a um, a patriotic setup for her outfit. So this. Bottom here is a pin cushion, and then she's just like one of those plastic dolls, and this one's never been opened. Okay, whew, we're still going. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, then we have this super cute musical Easter bunny. Okay, don't know what he does, but squeeze something, the ears? Well, he's been a while. I don't know that his little ears, are, he's not gonna make noise anymore. And he was made in China. So, sort of super cute there with his little carrot. Then we have this chirping chickadee. Touch activated. So, you put the little guy in your hand and he's supposed to chirp. <laughs> cute little novelty item there. Then, I think they might have been into doing latch hook rugs because here's an unopened latch hook. So it's definitely an interesting thing. Musical magnet here made in Taiwan of a very scary looking carousel horse. <laughs> when does your carousel horse have red eyes? Oh my. <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to do. I Let's see. Musical magnet. So. Oh, it is supposed to, oh, well, we're definitely not going to play. It's plays It's a Small World, and it's from 1992. So, someone feeling brave with that carousel horse. Not me. <laughs> oh, oh, well, this one is cute, though. This is a musical magnet of kitties, and it plays love stories. So, this one, maybe. I don't know. These are not the, these guys don't have the red eyes, so... <laughs> I think they might be safe. Okay, so this is a pocket weather trends. So let's see what that is. This has got a, or you can open it here. Hopefully it'll come out of the bag without a problem. Okay, oops, well, oopsie. <laughs> I tried to take it out and it broke the top of the bag. I apologize if anybody wanted to purchase this. The bag's a little not good okay oh it tells you pocket weather trends so pull for the pull northeast states so hmm okay so it must tell you different I'm not quite sure what it is it tells you oh okay so it tells you the different kind of i think clouds here and then it explains may through October, occasional showers, November through April, slow clearing. So, K 
Okay, it's from 1974, and let's see. It's based on exhaustive climatology, oh boy, research, which led to new scientifically based system of short-term forecasting called single station analysis. Ooh, okay. Well, if the weather is your thing, this might be a really awesome little piece to pick up at one of my live or one of my drop sales. I'm not going to try to put it back in because we might be here for a few days. All right. So then we have this beautiful item. It's Avon. Even the box is gorgeous, but it's a flower trivet. And it says friendship. Each flower has a special meaning. So the one flower is a blue periwinkle. So pretty cool. It has all these different flowers and it explains on the back of the trivet what all the flowers are for. It has one and a half of the little felt things here, <laughs> or you could hang it up. And this is the box that it comes in. It, the box is worse for wear, but the, the um, tile is pretty good. So Avon, 1983. So then we have this cute little sign. It says eggs for sale, $10 a dozen which I thought is funny because <laughs> in this day and age, you might want to add a couple extra zeros to that and, you know, $10 or put a dollar sign on the other side now, right? <laughs> Oof, crazy prices. Then we have another musical item here. This is a beautiful bird and it still has its tag here. So let's see if we can find out information. Okay. Oh, it's You Light Up My Life. That's the name of the song. And it says, I am musical, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> it's Flambro, Taiwan. So, beautiful little guy here. I can try to see. I don't know. Oh, so he still plays a little bit. Bless you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's allergic to that song. I don't know. Okay, so we have next, this is a fine porcelain egg musical candy and trinket box. And the tune is Easter Parade, hand painted, handcrafted from Taiwan. Wow, that thing's got a lot going on, doesn't it? All right, so let's take this beauty out of here. Okay, so it still has all the, it's almost like it's never been used for anything. That's still in its original packaging. So, yep, made in Taiwan. Not too bad, you know, it does, smells like it needs a little time to air out a little bit. But this, isn't this beautiful? So it's, it is, it's not, it's glazed. No, it's not, it's not glazed at all. It's just painted. Then you have the stuff you can put on the inside. It's just whatever. Okay, and then it's got the musical inter the musical part on the bottom. Let's see. Nope, it might not play anything. Ooh, that doesn't sound healthy. Oh, there we go. Just needed a little extra turn there. Okay, so that one does sort of play the song. I don't want to, I want to move it off to the side so we don't copyright. Now, <clears throat> beautiful metal box of Band-Aids, right? Nope. <laughs> beautiful box of sequins and two little caps. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. The only thing I could think of, maybe, maybe these are the bejeweled things for the calendar. I don't know. <laughs> So, interesting little thing. Oof, we're getting down to the end. There's a lot in here. <laughs> so, we have a beautiful swan <clears throat> that is vintage. I'm not quite sure if she's been used or not. Um, she has some marks on her. Um, 
and some crazing. So I don't know, these brown marks that you see here, I don't know if they're just dirt or what, but beautiful little swan there. Kind of a creamy color with some pink on the top. So it'll make a very beautiful display, very light, very light. Um, let's see. Uh, yep, nope, that's not what's in here. So, because this says it was a stamp pad ink brush applicator red. So that is definitely not what was in there. <laughs> so, we will put all her goodies back and put her right back in here so she doesn't get broken. But they did, must have really liked their swan because they've had it double, double, triple bagged there. <laughs> all right, this person definitely enjoyed their musical um different items we have a rocking chair kitten musical okay so that's what it looks like there and this also it does it honestly looks like this one hasn't been used either so looks like it's still new in the package so. and this one is kind of cute i think because it's a music box but then it's also got this little extra kitty hanging out. <laughs> and let's see, so it's made in China. Oh dear, yes, the, the wind up on this one is a little strange, so. I don't know, that one is a little weird. Does it say what it plays? Memory from cats. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, so it plays the memory song from the, the show Cats. So that's pretty cool. Except the wind-up is kind of odd. I've never, it's like an older, or maybe it's newer, but the wind-up mechanism is kind of strange on that one. All right, three more things. Music merry-go-round. So this one, the box has had a little problem. <laughs> it, it, I don't know. Hopefully the music box itself is okay. So let's check this out. Okay, so press the bottom to play. Let's see, is it gonna play? Well, I'm thinking not. You know, I didn't think so, but we could try. But it'd still be a beautiful ornament. And yeah, basically it just says, made in China, press the bottom to play. So. <laughs> Even though it doesn't play, at least it's a very nice looking um, music box. Okay, so the last two things. All right, well, we'll show you this one because this is another musical. This is Avon, We Wish You a Merry Christmas, musical porcelain figure. Okay, so let's check out and see. Avon 1986, all right. Still really nicely in the packaging. Oh, it is. It's the little girl on the back with the bird. So, isn't that nice? Okay, so it's the little girl feeding the bird some bird seed. And let's see. Oh, yeah, it's playing the song, yeah. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Okay, so hopefully my talking will drown out the song. Not that I don't like the song. I just don't want the <laughs> things to come with it. Now, this is um, a salt and pepper shaker set. Okay, and toothpick holder, so... Let's see, now this one, I don't know if it's been opened, but it wouldn't be too hard to open it. So we have this one piece and the second piece. Now this is quite interesting. I'll have to wait and show you real quick because these items are not glazed so that 
is just kind of different. I've not seen salt and pepper shakers and toothpick holders that are not glazed. So, oh boy, yes. <laughs> and you can see what happens when they're not glazed with the, so it's a train. It looks like it's for Easter time. Now, this is the toothpick holder and it has the little rabbit. But if you can see, all the blue paint is coming off. And it says it's made in China, but it, this says it is a, no, it's not even really glazed on the inside. So this is supposed to be the toothpick holder. So that's the front of the train. And then you have the two box cars, or you know, the two cars. And let's see, I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Well, these are supposed to be the salt and pepper shakers. Now, I don't know. Um, usually, aren't you supposed to have glazed glaze on them? I don't know. So this could be a redo or something if somebody wants to put some more <laughs> safer paint on these. So I guess it goes like this, you know. It's the toothpick holder and the salt and pepper shaker. It would be super cute for Easter, but I don't know if I would use it you know, for actual um, eating purposes. So it's, yeah, so it's just made in China, one set. It's very cute, but I think it needs a little TLC there. So that was quite the haul video. Whew. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe because you might see some of these items at either a live sale or a drop sale that I have here usually every Sunday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here on Reclaim Treasures by Mary. So stay tuned and don't forget to go check out the other people, um, the Thrifting Twins and um, all the other people here on YouTube that do the same thing with the reselling. And I just hope you guys have a good day and happy crafting, happy thrifting, happy watching. Okay, and sorry about my hands. So it was on some of the items. So, bye.